You're watching KRDO News Channel 13, where the news comes first. Your news starts right now. Yeah, thanks for choosing News Channel 13 at 5 o'clock. I'm Bart Bedsold. And I'm Heather Skold. Our top story at 5 o'clock, startling video tonight of a personal political dispute that turned violent. A Pueblo man was arrested after allegedly attacking a Trump supporter, waving an American flag along a busy street. A body camera caught the altercation from beginning to end. We want to warn you, it's not easy to watch. KRDO News Channel 13's Dan Beatty joins us from Pueblo with the story you'll only see here on KRDO. Dan? Heather Bart, it all started right here last Friday, Friday near the intersection of Northern Avenue and Pueblo Boulevard. A man named Fred Haddock was standing right across the street over there waving an American flag when a masked man walks up to his truck armed with a shovel and starts bashing in the windows of his truck. Every honk, every wave for Pueblo's Fred Haddock, it's a sign of support for President Donald Trump. Four more years. The retired steel mill worker has been waving his flag at street corners across Pueblo every day since the Republican National Convention. Be at least half of the people honking and waving are women. I don't think I'm quite that sexy, so something else must be going on. But not all the passerbys are supportive, let alone peaceful. Hey! Friday, September 25th, a masked man starts bashing in Haddock's truck. A body camera worn by Haddock records it all. You want some? Get the back. The masked man tried to grab the flag out of Haddock's hands, but the altercation only escalated from there. He tried to stab me with that shovel. That's when I hit him with the pepper spray, and it's knocked him down. Get the back. Pueblo police were called to the scene on a report of a fight involving weapons after onlookers called 911. Minutes later, police arrested 32-year-old Gabriel Perez at a nearby bus stop. Perez faces a felony-level menacing charge and is accused of damaging his truck. It seemed like he just went for the windows, so he didn't do a whole lot of damage to the truck itself. So like, it could be repaired if I can find all the parts. For Haddock, coming to the street corners is about energizing Republican voters. He's not looking to pick a fight. I, w I was just there, you know. That, was, that seemed to be provocation enough for him. And like I said, for some reason, the flag itself seemed to be a lot of provocation to him. Haddock tells me he believes Perez was lucky to get out of that altercation alive. Haddock says he was legally carrying a firearm when the altercation started, and he considered taking that gun out. Uh, fortunately, he didn't, and no one was severely injured, but Haddock believes he would have been justified in doing so. Reporting live in Pueblo, Dan BDK, RDO, News Channel 13. Wow, crazy to watch that video, Dan. Thank you. Uh,